Hello everyone, today I've got a video on my full VSR build that you guys have recently been seeing in most of my most recent gameplays and I really want to bring this video to you guys because you guys have been asking for it and I think it's about time to show a full build video on this gun. Uh, it's performed great in my past gameplays and I just think it's a good time to share all the parts that I've put into this build and some of the things that have gone wrong in the build and that have actually improved throughout the build. So let's jump right into it. So before I get into the parts list, I kind of want to go over what the base of this gun is. It's a Tokyo Marui VSR-10. Uh, pretty much everything has been upgraded into it, so the internals are pretty much not in there anymore from the Tokyo Marui original build, but uh, I currently put a Silo Entertainment SSG-50 stock onto this Tokyo Marui VSR, and that's the outer stock of the gun currently. Now jumping right into the parts list, you guys saw the SSG-50 stock. I will do a review on it eventually, but now I'll move on to the inner barrel, hop-up, bucking, and those are what I use for that. And then I have the outer barrel, the spacers, and the hop-up block. The hop-up block is a must-have for this particular stock. Uh, otherwise, the mag will not feed properly, and you'll have a bunch of feeding issues. You need the Novrich hop a block to properly seat the mag into your gun. Uh, it's pretty easy and those are some of the basic steps you'll need to install it into your VSR-10. And it is extremely useful because it has the uh, spring system which when you hit the ejection button it pops the mag out automatically. For the cylinder parts, I used a Springer Custom piston and spring guide and an edgy spring with a uh, Action Army cylinder. Uh, for the trigger unit, I used the Bull Trigger, which is the version 2 straight shape trigger. Absolutely amazing. Perfect feel on the trigger and easy trigger pull. And for the TDC, I used the Tritos TDC 2.0. And my last but not least, I used the stock from a G&G. Moving on to something a little more interesting, I think you guys will like. I am going to throw into this video my longest recorded shot, confirmed kill on video, and this is just giving you guys a little bit of an idea of how much range this has. This may be my longest recorded shot. It was in my recent gameplay with Blind Sniper, but it's hard to see if it's confirmed or not. But you do see it ripple in his left pant pocket, as you can see in this screenshot pic. Let's see. You, you got those kids like... Yeah, that's where them? I'm Yeah, that's where I'm aiming right now. Distance I'll be shooting at 100 meters. One more time. One more time. 100 meters. All right. Let's get this shooting test down. Two 
that's pretty much all I have for today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did definitely subscribe to the channel for more videos similar to this and I I just want to thank you guys for being patient with me for so I could put this video together and make it the way that I wanted it to so it could show you guys the performance the build view of like the parts list and what's in it and how I put it together and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and have a great day yeah, I'm moving that building. Let's just